It's not only important for us, it's important for everyone. We are not here only to promote democracy for ourselves. But democracy is the only way to develop a country. There is no country with military dictature who is successful today. All the countries we are leading the world are democracies. And we are only asking for a democratic country. à la maison, j'ai l'impression que euh, euh, je ne suis pas utile. Ici, je sens que juste le fait d'être avec les Algériens, de dire que je soutiens l'Algérie, ça m'apporte quelque chose. En Algérie, le 22 février de l'année dernière, c'était une grande peaceful demonstration where millions of people went out to the street to ask for more rights, to ask for freedom, to ask for democracy, to ask for uh, that Algeria involve, take the train of modernity. We're living in a democratic country here in Norway. So we have seen Norway evolve in a getting better. While when I go to Algeria, I have seen Algeria getting worse every year. It started in 1980 in, the, in Kabylie, it's the Berber uh, area, Berber region. Many people were killed, many people were jailed. It didn't succeed. In 80, 1982, started Oran, where I'm coming from. Many people were jailed, many people were tortured, but it didn't succeed. In 1986, in Constantine, in the east of Algeria, many people were jailed, many people were tortured. But in 1988, it was the big, they call it riot, but I call it revolution. 530 people were killed by the military junta. Thousands were tortured, thousands disappeared, thousands were empty now, are injured, they lost their one eye or one hand, uh, one arm, one leg, and still the system is the same. So in 22nd of February 2019, people said, enough is enough. This is why we are here, to promote the idea of peaceful demonstration who might, who will give us democracy in Algeria. I'm in Norway, I'm living well, so, but I am doing it. Why? To change the life of Algerian people, to, make, to, to, to build a democracy, to build a new Algeria, not what the, this puppet, it's a puppet, this guy. He, do, he has no control, no power, he's just a puppet. Every month he's coming in TV and talking to people, saying anything. It's so, so mediocre, so, 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 so low level. I am ashamed that he's the president of Algeria. Believe me, 
I'm ashamed every time I hear this guy talking. I'm hiding my face. Oui, que que qu'on nous écoute, que surtout les Sorvégiens nous écoutent et que ils sachent ce qui se passe en Algérie. C'est juste pour donner aux Norvégiens une idée de ce qui se passe en Algérie et pour qu'ils nous soutiennent parce que nous on soutient notre peuple et on veut que le monde entier sache ce qui se passe en Algérie. I was ashamed a few weeks ago when I saw a French documentary about tourists going to Algeria to visit Algeria because they heard some good things. Since they arrived at the airport, until they came back to the airport, the police was escorting them to any place. They couldn't move. One of them, one of them said, enough, leave me in peace. He went, they took him by force and went, go back to the group, to the, how to call it, like the, the, the troupeau, the uh, cattle, the, 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 you know, sheep, you know. I, I was ashamed. This is French people coming from France to visit your country. Come on, treat them well. One young guy made a video when it, when it rained so much that, look, we are living in mud. And he showed. He was jailed for one year of prison. No, you have to say everything is well in Algeria. That's, it. That's why I want a change in Algeria. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.